Welcome to Tivoli Storage Manager File Restore. In this video, you'll learn how to restore a file from a virtual machine backup. After you log in, you're prompted to select a backup. Each of the highlighted dates in the calendar contains one or more backups. Select the date and time of the backup that you want and click Choose Backup. Depending on the number of disks on the backup, it might take a few minutes to load. After the backup is loaded, your files and folders are shown in the table. The folder structure in the table matches the folders on the virtual machine. Depending on how the virtual machine is set up, you might see the names of files or folders that you don't have access to. You can only act on files or folders for which you have permissions. As you explore the folders in the backup, breadcrumbs are shown in the table to help you keep track of where you are. You can also use breadcrumbs to return to a higher level folder. To help you more easily locate your files, you can sort the table by clicking the column headings. Suppose that you accidentally deleted a chart in a presentation called financials.ppt. You've been working on this file for a few days and you need to restore the most recent version of this file. First, change the backup to the most recent one. Just click the calendar icon and select the most recent backup. Then click Change Backup. After the backup is loaded, you can go through your folders to find the file, or you can search for that file. To search for the financials.ppt file, select a starting folder. Then go to the field that contains the magnifying glass. Type all or part of the file name in the field and press Enter. When you see your file in the search results, select it. A couple of restore options are available. You can restore the file to its original folder, or you can restore it to a different folder on the virtual machine. If the file already exists in the location, the restored file name will contain a timestamp that shows when the file was last modified. If you choose Original Location, the restore begins immediately when you click Restore. In case you need more information, help is available in the interface. Suppose you want to restore the file to a different location so that you can compare it with the original file. Just select Alternate Location and click Restore. You decide to restore the file to a new folder called Yesterday. Select a starting location in the folder tree and click New Folder. Type the folder name in the field and press Enter. Finally, click Restore to begin restoring the file. You can monitor the progress of the restore from the Restore Activity window. If necessary, you can restore additional files without waiting for the current restore operation to finish. Now that you've completed a restore operation, the next video shows you how to monitor these restore operations. You'll learn how to view the status of restore operations and how to obtain assistance.